Hello everyone. In today's video I am going to perform an access cavity of a lower first molar. If you look at the x-ray, it seems that the caries does not reach the pulp, but the patient was experiencing very strong and persistent pain when eating or drinking cold things. I start with a small round burr in the center of the crown, right in the central fossa. Normally I tilt the burr towards distal looking for the distal canal but we must take into account the x-ray which we will have analyzed before. Little by little we are going deeper with the round burr. We seek to notice that sensation of falling to the camera. But it's not always like this. In young molars we usually notice that sensation but not in atretic pulp chambers. That is why it is important to stop and inspect with the DG16 Pro. Here we can see bleeding and we use the DG16 Pro to confirm the existence of the root canal. In this case it is the distal canal. Once we have found the distal canal, we use an Ender Z burr to access the mesial canals without the risk of damaging the chamber floor with its inactive tip. With the Ender Z we advance little by little towards the mesial and we stop and inspect with the probe if we have found the mesials in order to avoid an access too large. When accessing lower molars, the Krasner and Ranko laws of symmetry must be kept in mind. If a line is drawn in a mesial distal direction across the center of the floor of the pulp chamber, the orifices of the canals on either side are perpendicular to it and the orifices of the canals on either side of the line are equidistant. Once we have located the root canals, it is time to redefine the cameral opening. In this case, we eliminate with Ender Z the cameral roof that remains in the lingual part of the access. Here we can clearly see the four root canals that it always presents, confirming with the endodontic probe. 